Okay, and here we are. We'll do this really quick. As you can see, this laptop suffered an unfortunate screen injury, and we'll go ahead and power that back off now. Let's flip it over on its back so that you can access and uh, remove this bezel easier. First thing we're gonna do is remove these little rubber covers over the screws, and I'll use a uh, razor blade for that. You can use an X-Acto knife or something small like a flathead screwdriver. There's one of them, and here is the second one. And of course there's four, all four corners. So we'll go ahead and pull those off one at a time. And these can easily be replaced at the end of the project. They have an adhesive on the back, so just uh, be gentle with them and you'll be able to pop them right back in. And that's all four. Now we're gonna get a Phillips tip screwdriver and remove all four screws that were under those covers. And that's that. Now we're gonna get a flathead screwdriver and gently begin to lift the bezel. Don't worry about the screen. You can put, put as much pressure, that's the dead screen. So um, apply as much pressure as you need to to lift that bezel out and work your way around as you can see, gently and carefully, making sure not to snap any of the tabs that are holding it in place. So there's our screen bezel and the screws. Now we'll continue by pulling the screen from the hinges that are holding the screen to the laptop base. And those are two Phillips tip screws. And now you'll want to go ahead and remove the six Phillips head screws, there's three on each side, that are holding the screen into that hinged frame. So just unscrew the three on the right, then the three on the left, And as you get down to the last one, anticipate that the screen will then be freed up and you don't want to put any undue strain on the cabling holding the screen to the laptop. Now we'll flip it over and we'll gently remove the adhesive that's holding that tab. The ribbon cable connecting into the back of the screen is very easy to release. Just slide it out with your finger very carefully. And we'll go ahead and pull out our new screen, unwrap that and hopefully you've already ordered it from LaptopScreens.com and you are minutes away from a brilliant new display on your laptop. So go ahead and reseat that ribbon cable. It slides right back in and then push down the adhesion holding it again. And now we're gonna screw back in that frame holding the laptop screen and you just wanna hit three on each side. You can work diagonally, it kinda helps uh, keep things balanced. And once we get all six screws in, we can flip gently using the hinges at the base with our thumbs back into place in the laptop shell. Now you'll reseat those two screws connected to the hinges and you wanna make sure those are the inner screw holes when you put those in. The outer screw holes are for the bezel. And once those are in, just make sure you return the cable to its little raceway that it has there underneath the screen. And now we'll return the bezel to its place and it should snap right back in carefully. You'll wanna watch around the webcam to make sure that you've got it popped into all the tabs properly. And there we are. Now we'll just go ahead and put our screws back in. One, two, three, four, all four corners of the bezel. And that will be followed by returning the little screw covers, which are merely aesthetic. If you lost them or they don't stick anymore, your computer just won't look as pretty. But that's it. Just stick them back in. And um, if, if you need to, you can spray them the back of them with some adhesive, um, and maybe even rubber cement. But spray adhesive would work. 
and power it on for the magic. And voila, it's a beautiful thing. Double thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to go to laptopscreens.com for your screen replacement today.